Ravine Cellar, the meanest devil cards player in the buttery seas. Trying to cross the ravine, are ya? I know there's an invisible bridge over it, but I can't see it without my magical eyeglasses. I lost them to some coiled, and I just know they cheated! Can you go get them back? That dungeon over there mayhaps contains a shrine piece. I only need the one lens to read the other player's cards. I'll craft the other into a monocular telescope for you. There, that will let you see the coils and visible bridges. Built for things all over the place.
one life to crept down to this the deepest trench of the ocean depths. Woo! I just remembered! You're gonna meet one of my favorite characters. I remember when I was your favorite. See how that turned out? Watch your back, <laughs> Fate Maker, or you might find some fangs in it. <laughs> Down here, smooth skin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a little salt on the way she said smooth skin. I'm offended, I think. Honestly, I don't even see what the big deal is about having skin. Sometimes skin's too dry, sometimes skin's too wet. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. It's a skin thing. Okay, the next person to say skin is spontaneously combusting. She said it first. It's a free ocean. I can trace through it as I please. I am sorry. It has been a very long time since I spoke with anyone. Of course, you seek passage. I can aid you. Here, take this cipher. Now, gaze upon the shrine and let the words flow through you. Your drill, your. Uh, my mouth tastes like. Only the coiled may be granted passage through the drowned abyss. <laughs> this cipher grants you our speech. There are three more shrines. You must intone their words aloud before the doors to the Temple of Sacrifice will open. This was once a sacred place to me and my sisters, long ago when we shared skies before the days of chains. <laughs> The you must reach the Temple of Sacrifice. Inside is a light that will grant us passage. <laughs> okay, she's creeping me out a little. And not just because she used the Yeah, she's got too many proper nouns going on. Chains, drowning, sacrifice. What? No! Wait! He was a pirate. Okay, well, with this type of intentability, you can tell that she's a real sweetheart who's honest and trustworthy, and you love her. Well, but the priestess class has a concealed intent ability. Ah! I'm getting the hang of this kitten.
Okay, fine. I can't resist lower. What's the deal with the drowning? This city was once a beacon of civilization, a symbol of the united coiled people. But some crave power and ally themselves with the dread void god known as Drill. When he was cast down to the desert by other gods, so too was the city dragged with him. Sacrifice. Ah, oh, quit it! Kasara's cool, okay? Gah, she's laying it on way too thick. You can see the twist coming a mile away, can't you? Even after the drowning, my sisters continue to practice profane rituals. <laughs> I have observed their rites and know them well. We will need to light a fire. Why would there be a fire pit in an underwater temple? Mm. Well, uh, because... Uh, uh, surprise ambush!
fire, seeker of passage. You will need a magical ember jack, a fiery fish whose flames burn even underwater. Right, but all the fish died when we blew up the ocean. Uh, fine, then there's one in the chest right in front of you. One dead fish. Could it still light a fire? Wow, Valentine, I didn't know we had a fishologist in the house! It's a magic fire fish! It's got tons of magic fire juice still all up in it, okay? to give up all your blood. The fish itself is the sacrifice. Oh, huh, okay. has accepted your sacrifice. Follow that light. It will take you to the final step of your passage. See? She didn't want to sacrifice you after all. She's cool. I don't know. Something about her just makes my... <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Skull. It makes my... Skull crawl? Ooh, are you sure that's the, that's the word you wanted to use? Because there's another S word. That you could use, I mean, there's still some time for, uh... Nope. Just using a completely normal phrase that everyone else uses. Makes my skull crawl. Normal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got it! other idiots at the table can see through it. Pretty suspicious. Look, ugh, please, you guys will really like her if you just talk to her a little more. I am afraid I haven't been completely honest with you. Aha! I knew it! There is one last sacrifice to make. Here it comes. And I make it gladly. I will go with you. What? When my sisters fell to the temptations of drill, I blamed myself. 
I vow to remain in solitude for my sins. But you have shown me that passage through hardship can only be accomplished alongside friends. I will join your party and aid you on your quest. No, what? No! There has to be a twist. She's lying. The priestess's maddened sister's attack, drawn by her nefarious spells. Sisters, I defy you now, and I defy you then. You cannot stop us. Come on. Seeker of passage, you have given me hope. I will repay you in kind with friendship. Yeah, not buying it. No, dude, she really needs it. May I have a hug? It's been so long since I felt the warmth of another on my skin. Oh, she said the yes word. No, 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 she didn't. She super did, and you said. I know what I said. Oh, fine! Spontaneous combustion! I... never saw the sun again. There! Are you happy now? I... uh... Here, let's all just... go talk to the evil god of the deep, shall we? That sounds like fun. You did your best, Fate Maker, but you can't save everyone. Not with a bunker master like her. to kill her off. Yes, I did, because you made me. And now I have to throw out this whole story I had ready. You know, she had a troubled past and a yearning for friendship and a whole redemption arc, and now it's gone. I don't know. I just thought you were setting up a cool fight. <clears throat> she would still be alive. Oh, oh, so now you care about rules. Well, here's a rule. Rule of threes, bitches! 
Mega Turbo Butt is the Fate Maker. Well, you're gonna stay? Like you said, fate doesn't divide us. Fate brings us together. Of course we're staying. I want to see how this ends. And maybe Kasara could even come back as a friendly ghost. Nah, she's dead. I'm over it. Quest complete! Do the thing where it says quest complete! Do you see how fragile she really is? All that fear, all that doubt. Where do you think she puts it? Right into this world. She has all of the cruelty of a god and none of the responsibility. begins to wonder, with the world torn in two, can balance ever be restored? Is it enough to defeat evil, or must it be destroyed entirely? So you're sticking with her in this pathetic quest, are you? Fine. I know what it's like to have your fate chosen for you. But I'm owning this villain thing, okay? World's not gonna cover itself in darkness, you know? You come across a mysterious relic, and it is just giving off super magic vibes. Oh, you know I want to touch that. Quick game of pop! The light! I'm alive! Oh, wait. Hmm. All right, halfway there at least. But you freed me, adventurer. Thank you. Always nice to meet a friendly see-through face. What's your name? I had a name long ago. But now they just call me the Wastard. Sorry, what's a Wastard? Oh, you know, a real son of a witch. Get it? We Wastards are rare, powerful magic users. I'm a necromancer, but when I refuse to do that Dragon Lord's bidding, he ripped my soul out of my body and stuffed it into this relic. 
Dick move, right? Total dick move. You know, I'm actually headed toward the big evil pyramid to give that dragon lord the old one, too. Great. We're going the same way. Look, I need to get my body back. If you help me, I'll give you a powerful tool against the dragon lord. Here, a live demonstration. Well, a half-life. This guy's just the only way up, but it's protected by a barrier hex. Luckily, hexes are sort of my thing. I'd love to know how to do that. I can show you how to dispel hexes once I have my body back. Now we gotta climb these cliffs. Road trip! What was that? Where are you? Hey, hey, relax. I'm just hitching a ride. Mobility is not a go strong. Ever wonder why they always stick around these broke ass houses? It's not for the cool. I would just like to highlight that I'm not putting up a fight about trusting this necklace. Hey, that's getting you good, baby. Totally unrelated. No, there's something called a reverse exorcism, where you trap someone's soul in your own body and then explode, sending you both to hell, in case you need some leverage. Oh yeah, that's real. Messy stuff. Happened to my buddy Connor at a birthday party. What am I looking at here? <laughs> Just your standard elevator that's also a skeleton. A skeleton. Cool, right? Designated it myself. It's a little penthouse with a skull. That jaw's gonna take it up. Let me see if I can still magic it down in this form. Loganaria Kukumbina!
cords in the ground and sapping the soul energy out of the jaw. We got a jump start here. We'll need an exceptionally powerful source of magic. Oh, that relic you found me in. Another one of those. The other can keep a stockpile of charged relics on the upper levels. There's a smaller, less cool elevator nearby that you can use to get up higher. Yeah! All this mining equipment. What is the Dragon Lord doing here? Oh, you've probably seen those crystals around. Who 
Dragonborn's naturally absorb soul energy. It even sucks it right out of the ground. The Dragonborn's been using his armies to mine it out, but then he ordered me to start turning living people into undead workers. Man, I refuse. And now look at me. I mean, yeah, okay, it sounds bad when he says it, but the guy's body is crazy full of power. He wasn't even using it. You snooze, you get your soul ripped out of your body and thrown in the ocean, as the saying goes. somewhere in this mining camp.
was cool. How am I alive? I don't know, and I'm not asking questions. Let us taste. Thanks for coming. Oh, I'm not keeping you from something, am I? <laughs> None of the relics are good enough? None of the relics you can see. Wink. Did you mean to say wink? Yes, that was for newbie's benefit. Tina does her own post <laughs> Hey, 
Now we just need to channel this thing's energy into the jaw. I've got an arcane focus out in front. Head over there. as a conduit. So, you'll have to do it yourself. Place the relic, and we can begin. With this much soul energy, you need more than one person channeling it, or the effects could be catastrophic. Say it with me. Ragu Barata Pesto! Ragu Barata Pesto. Ragu Barata Pesto! and badasses for a while? Yeah, but I always just killed people and took their stuff. Frit, how many parties have you gotten kicked out of? Not counting this one. All of them. Welcome to my bachelor pad. The Wastard's body floats above an obvious boss arena. Guys know he's always stuffy anyway. 
can hardly breathe. Sucks. Okay, he's out of there. Quit the violence. It's premium merchandise. out of course I'll honor my side of the deal here follow me I can give you the ability to dispel the dragon Lord's barrier hexes but there is a cost. A cost to your soul. I swore off the use of necromancy for evil. So I want your permission before doing this. Oh, yeah. Our soul... You are cordially invited to do weird stuff to my soul. So be it. Texas. No, I will never find true love. Oh, am I kidding? <laughs> I found dozens. <laughs> Here. Your powers won't be as potent as mine, so you'll need to use the spell room. Like this one over here. Give it a shot. That way we'll take you across the desert. You'll find the Dragon Lord's Fearmen in the center of a dead city known as Asugo. Thank you for returning my body to me, hero. I haven't finished business here, so I can only wish you good luck on your quest. You're gonna need it. The parched ways stretch out before you. You can feel the land itself thirsting beneath your boots. Tread carefully, fate maker. Oh, I got one more thing if you're up for it. Once we beat the Dragon Lord, we're gonna be legends! I'm gonna license my face on so many lunchboxes. You can keep your merchandise. I want that Sword of Souls. So you think you guys might stick around after the campaign? I don't know. We really should get to fixing up our ship. Oh. I mean, are you sure? The outside world super sucks right now. You can just stay here and play games with me! 